So I want to talk for just a moment about the importance of inner peace. Okay, and I don't mean to sound all woo-woo, let's go meditate in an ashram. I'm talking about your good old-fashioned, don't want to be in fight or flight, don't want to be feeling anxious and pissed off all the time. I just want to feel relaxed. I just want myself a little bit of inner peace. It might not be something you would grab a book about. I mean, some people do, right? Some people, a lot of millions of people bought The Power of Now right, with Eckhart Tolle. But overall, most of us are looking for the next best thing. How can I, how can I generate more leads? How can I get more money? How can I, you know, I don't know. Social media is just like this hodgepodge anymore of, of the marketplace, right? Everyone's texting you and messaging you and trying to sell you something. And maybe you're doing that too, whatever. We all think that we want something else. We think we want more money. We think we want longer vacations. We think we want more clients. We think we want a better body. We think we want a bigger house. But I'm here to tell you and to challenge you, in fact, that what we really want is inner peace. And inner peace doesn't have to have that ring of, of being uh, mystical and magical and, and woo-woo, right? It doesn't have to be like that. What it is, essentially, is we are not living in a constant state of survival. We are not living in fight or flight. We are not constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop, right? Because that's what fight or flight is. It truly is your automatic nervous system. It truly is just being in reactive mode for so many years. And, and we live in a society that like feeds it like crazy, right? You know, thrill factor. It's just, it's just really, really, really big right now. Um, so inner peace though is really the opposite of stress and survival. And here's the thing, you know, maybe you clicked off this right now and you're like, I don't think she knows what she's talking about. That's okay. It won't hurt my feelings. I don't know about it. But here's what is important, and I really encourage you to, to take it to heart. If you want wealth and more clients, a better life, do you think that is going to be derived from running around in a high beta brainwave, always stressing out and being reactive? Or do you think that it's more likely those beautiful things will come to you when you are in a state of peace, joy, gratitude, right? Non-resistance, all the Buddha shit. It's really, really about finding that space internally of peace so that then when you do all of your marketing and your outreach and your calls and blah, 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 you're coming at it with an energy of peace and people respond to that. They do not respond well when you come at it with a high beta brainwave in fight or flight, in survival mode. You got to buy this. I'm selling it. Here's my deadline. I got to get my numbers up. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. So even though you might not go on Amazon or wherever and buy a book called Inner Peace, I really encourage you to think about how you could cultivate more inner peace in your world, in your life, in your day, and just see, maybe surprisingly so, how quickly it makes you more attractive to the clients or maybe the people that you're trying to, um, to bring into your life romantically or just your general relationships. It makes such a huge difference when you come from a place of peace. I hope this has been helpful and I hope you have a peaceful day. Thanks for watching.